Please arrive at Phineas's Orbital Lab.
Captain, as it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet, I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. Doc Wells never hurt nobody. Just a kindly old fella living by his lonesome up in the rings, tinkering at his table. The board just couldn't leave him be. I'm not one for pointless heroism, but the board's gonna be after us next. We gonna finish what we started? To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. Let me put it this way. The labyrinth ain't got walls to keep prisoners in. It's got walls to keep the rest of the planet out. But since no one ever makes it out, this is all just speculation. The armed surveillance protocols on a maximum security prison planet are highly sophisticated. As such, escapes are historically quite impossible and deadly. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. It's the craziest plan I've ever heard. And I mean that as a compliment. You didn't hire me to think. And I ain't about to start now. You're my boss. And I'll walk into fire with you. I think it's insane. But maybe the colony needs a healthy dose of insanity right about now. I know it's dangerous. And I won't lie and say I'm not scared out of my wits. But I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. You're asking for more than bravery from us, Captain. But there are worse ways to go than dying for a good cause. I'm in. The entire plan is a terrible idea. But I admire your bravado, Captain, which leads me to illogically believe, against the odds, that you will be successful. If we don't make it, at least it'll be a great story. Got my trusty tossball stick, got my ass-kicking boots. I'm ready, boss. Outstanding. You can count on us, Captain. We're crew. For real crew. That means we got each other's backs. Right? Never thought I'd volunteer to break into a prison. Seems like your tendency towards risky behavior is rubbing off on me, Captain. Waiting on your command, Captain. Can we talk? Make yourself at home, Captain.
Welcome to Ambrose Manor. We were not expecting company. Please follow. Do not stray from the path. Don't worry, little fella. We're mostly law-abiding folk. Oh no, w we should check... Self, please, please, please do not eat. Structural damage detected. Compensating for structural damage. Error. Error. Those big empty windows. Feels like the building's watching me. No law, I'm getting goosebumps. People will go to extraordinary lengths to define themselves, won't they? This is just a facade to hide behind.
Oh, Captain, something here don't feel right. This place has the distinct feeling of a crypt. Virginia Yang, girl detective, where the old fella dies and his nurse inherits his house? <gasps> what if we find a body? Secret tunnel. Interesting architectural choice. So who the devil are you? You don't say. Well, make yourself at home, Captain. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? That's Gorgon. My birthright. My burden. And the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone, and this is my third. So join me in raising a glass. To Gorgon. To Gorgon. May cosmic winds shepherd her to the nearest star. I'm Wilhelmina Ambrose. But you can keep it short and call me Minnie. Now what brings you to my house, handsome? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. A severed arm. How positively ghoulish. You know this is a private residence, not a curio shop. Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man. Very brooding and theatrical. Always staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. The more lost we feel, the more we put on a show for others. But if something happened to him... Oh, dear. I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now? You suspect foul play? Interesting. If we're being honest, I haven't given it much thought. What a time for his luck to run out. We were in the middle of something grand, and I really can't afford another setback. Funny that you should bring that up. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy, and I think you're well-suited to the job. You offer work to everyone who breaks into your home? Must be some kind of Byzantine tradition I ain't know about. I don't believe you thought this through. Or much else, for that matter. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good with their hands. 
My mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant, the top scientist in her field, until tragedy struck. One day, Spacer's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. Mother... never made it home. I'm told she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. That must have been real hard on you, losing your mother all of a sudden like that. I'm sorry to hear it, ma'am. Thank you. Ambrose ladies are supposed to be resilient to the unexpected, but... This was especially hard on me. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's Choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know they're lying. My thoughts exactly. Mother would not have allowed Project Gorgon to fail. Something happened on that asteroid, and my family took the fall for it. The truth. Mother is gone, Gorgon is silent, and I deserve answers. We start where all of this began. With Mother. Whatever happened on Gorgon wasn't Mother's fault. I simply need the evidence to prove it. We're going to drag the truth, kicking and screaming into the light. Even if it means bringing ruin and humiliation to Spacer's choice. All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. By all means, go and see what you're up against. I'm certain Mother's journal won't go far. You'd think that, wouldn't you? Journals can have a way of eluding those searching for them. When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you trust. The corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. I've never understood why, but Gorgon is teeming with marauders. They almost seem drawn to sorrow and misfortune. Then there's the test subjects, those who survived anyway. Ravenous creatures left behind like so much salvage. I told him everything I've told you. Just the facts. Maybe a couple of harmless embellishments. Why? Still, you're smart to ask. Lucky spent most of our time together spinning a pistol around his index finger. Not sure you listen to any of my advice. But you won't let me down, will you, Captain? There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad, the Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room, so if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. Oh, you think maybe they got a little mascot? Like a Sprat and a tiny hat? Just so we understand each other, money is no object. I'm willing to squander the family fortune if you get me what I want. Between your payment and any salvage you happen across, You'll walk away from this rich enough to buy a mansion of your own. How does that sound? A consummate professional? That shouldn't be a problem. Here's your nav key, Captain. Safe travels. A word of advice before you go, Captain. Trust no one. Mother's office is in the heart of the Gorgon facility. You're free to salvage anything that isn't nailed down. I only want what's mine. Mysterious heiress, unexpected gainful employment. It's like something out of a detective serial. Don't worry about us. We're well versed in helping ourselves to anything that's not nailed down. <laughs>